Hey everybody, this is Sam at Toyota of Bozeman here in Montana, where it is snowing, even though the hottest day of the year was three weeks ago or something like that. We've got our first uh, 2020 Army Green Pro 4Runner in. This guy is sold, but thought I'd do a quick walk around and uh, just kind of show you guys some of the differences. Obviously the color um, was on the FJs for a little while. Um, overall look is, is very similar to the previous ones from the outside at least. So you got the Pro badge and Pro rims. Got the FJ rack on top. Um, minor differences, 2020 Pros and 2024 runners in general finally got safety sense. So down below the front bumper here, that's where the pre-collision system stuff's located. And then up in the glass there, probably kind of hard to see with the video, but you've got the uh, lane departure alert camera up there. Also does the auto dimming high beams. Uh, no uh, blind spot monitor on any of the Pro 4Runners, um, or any of the 4Runners for that matter. Um, so yeah, just gonna do a quick walk around here you guys some of the outside stuff uh, one of the minor additions to actually most of the lineup is they're all getting the uh, all but I believe the SR5s are getting the um, smart key system so you'll see that on pretty much all of them there push button start on the rear window here this just means you got um, buttons there to roll it up and down versus the uh, the key um, yeah heading to the inside that's where some of the major differences are um, and then here's the smart key function as well, so you can hit that to lock it, and then give it a second, hand on door handle, unlocked. Um, hopping in here, on the left side, you'll see the this button says auto, that's for the auto dimming high beam function, on and off. And then on the steering wheel, you'll see the uh, adaptive cruise control button and lane departure alert button. And coming over here, big update on the uh, head unit, so that now has uh, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, it's bigger touch screen. Premium audio is now coming with the pros. And then you also get the addition of uh, Toyota Safety Connect, basically Toyota's version of OnStar. Um, and then down here, this is gonna look a lot like the Limiteds have looked for the past few years. So you got the dual climate control. Um, got a USB port here that is new. Uh, there was one before, but it also had the auxiliary input. So actually they might've gotten rid of the auxiliary input. Um, push button start there, I'd like to see that. And then in the back here, just gonna, probably a terrible video for you, but it got a couple of USB ports back there as well. Um, other than that, it's the uh, same old guts that we love and and uh, the new technology that we, we like to see. Um, just kind of do a little more, a few more shots here so you can kind of see everything. good thanks for watching if you want to get one of these give me a call i know we're kind of backed up on orders on them but probably can still get one sometime this year hopefully this is going to be a, a car that lasts for a long time and, and by that i mean one that's going to be very desirable for a long time um, just because the color typically with the pro models you get this hero color and then in the tacomas and tundras they'll pass down that color for the the years following although with the foreigner they have not been doing that so if you see like a cement foreigner or a quicksand one or cavalry blue um, that's a pro and it was only built that year um, so i think that makes them a bit more desirable but yeah thank you so much for watching and uh, give me a call if you ever want to get a vehicle